Hello, let's draw something. Here we are. What are we drawing today? Another Mirtha fan art, Merlin and Arthur. If you've seen my videos, you know, one of the drawings I do is either cats or M Merlin and Arthur. So yeah, sorry for um, shitty video quality. <clears throat> so anyways, um, I had already done a Mirtha fan art that I posted. It's one of the recent videos. I was going to do, you know, one like this, a longer one. However, I forgot to record it. So I only had the, you know, shorts video. So yeah, you can find it on the shorts section or um, there is a playlist of all the Mirtha fan art I've done. You can find it on my page if you want to see other fan arts. <clears throat> so this drawing, um, oops, wait, let me cough. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, um, the drawing I'm currently doing, um, gosh, it took me long because I was trying to figure out what the hell am I drawing? So I actually spent quite some time here and there um, just sketching it out. And as I was doing that, you know, first off, I was going to put Arthur, you know, behind Merlin, you know, like hug kind of hug him from behind and, it, you know, a kiss on the shoulder or whatever. But I don't know how to draw that. <laughs> so I was like, skip that. So it ended up being, well, okay, I'll swap him around. He can go on the other side. And as I was doing that, I was like, well, what are they doing? Because I don't know. So I had to figure out what the hell. So this is what's happening yeah I spent so long sketching this out not only was I doing this I was also sketching another myth of fan art so I'm also working on that and another one so yeah so um if you guys do want to see the images you can find it on my tumblr just check in the description box below or you know just type in my name the laser gamer nickel well name of this channel really and uh you can find most of the fan art I've done on here, on there, if you want to look at it. Yeah, so, um, so any fan art or art I happen to do on here, you can usually find it on Tumblr. So, um... You can also find my Mirtha art on archives of our own, okay, in case you want to, but my name is different on there though, I've got a different name. Um, I have not put down the link to my AO3 in the description box though, so... Yeah. Anyways, back to the video. 
I've actually got um, a YouTube video playing in the background. I'm also watching it as well. Yeah, um, about this video. So I'm going through um, still sketching now here. Like when I was doing the hands, like, oh my gosh, I freaking hate drawing hands because I'm so shit at it. Yeah, so when I was doing Arthur's left hand, obviously I was trying to figure out what the fuck I'm drawing. Um, yeah, I was going through a lot trying to like position it, how it looked, and it looked shit. So I was like, screw it. Just going to do the old tricks of, uh, you, you know there's a hand there, but it's hidden behind uh, Merlin's leg. That's the sort of, <laughs> sort of doing. Because <laughs> I was like, nah, mate, nah. Uh, I'm not going to struggle for, like, because, oh my goodness, was I struggling to draw the hand? So I was like, nah, I'm not going to, I'm too lazy to work on it any longer. So, yeah. So, um, as I was doing this, you know, I was trying to figure out, well, um, I've got them in position, as you can see, like, okay, so where are they? And I, I think I decided to put them in the room. Like, um, I mean, not that you can tell, it was just some room in the castle. Some room, yeah, whatever. Now, here's the thing, when I'm trying to draw the background, I cannot get the, is it dimension? Or perspective, or whatever the freaking word is. Like, I can't get it right, like... Uh, I'm unable to make it look like, you know, the window is, well, whatever, I don't know, 3D, <laughs> to make it look like, you know, I don't know how to do it yet, so I'll have to probably, like, Google or see if I can find a tutorial on YouTube uh, to help with that, because I can't get it right. Yeah, it's annoying when you're trying to draw something like you see it in your head and it's like, I've got it. But then when you're trying to translate it onto, well, in my case, my phone, trying to draw it on here, it's it doesn't come out right. And you're like, oh, if. And that's what's happening when I'm drawing the background. Like, I could see it. I've got some photo references to help with, you know, uh, my imagination or whatever. But then trying to actually draw it, it's difficult, especially when you're a noob. Um, yeah. So, uh, that's one of the things I need to work on because I'm not great at doing uh, background environments or whatever. I still need to get it right. Anyways, how are you today? You all, or whoever's listening and watching, I hope. Uh, that uh, you lot are doing okay and uh, you know you can put this video as a background noise you know you can go off do something whatever you're doing and just put this in the background while you're off um, working studying Whatever else. 
And, you know, as I've said in previous videos, I never know what to say when I'm recording. I really don't. And even when I'm trying to explain what I'm drawing, it's not um, informative. And uh, usually I'm just like, whatever. Whatever comes to mind, I just draw it. Anyways, um, the app I use, IBIS Paint X. As I've mentioned many times, it is a free app on Android. Um, and I've been using it on and off. But in the last two years, I've actually been using it a lot. It is pretty much um, my favorite art app. And uh, there are, let's see, um, they have, I guess, pictures or... Um, yeah, it is pictures, right? That you can use. Like, um, it has some pictures of material patterns, a uh, real or a uh, real backgrounds, anime backgrounds. Even got some pictures of items, I think, that you can use. And I have used some of the uh, pictures, pattern things, and I've overlaid them in the, in the video, the drawing I'm doing, um, as you can see. So yeah, I enjoy doing that when I, when I know that I'm pretty crap at adding details like cobblestone or, I don't know, cotton. Trying to do that, like the clothing, like the material, way. Eh? You're trying to, like, you look at this shirt and you know that shirt is looking like cotton. So it is absolutely helpful with uh, some of the pictures that they already have in the app and that you can use. And that's what I've done when I know I couldn't, like... I'm I'm still a noob, like I can't draw text text textures. Like I haven't reached that level where I can just draw it. Nah mate. Don't know if I ever reach it, but whatever. Just use what you got, eh? <clears throat> so yeah, um not only that, um when I was colouring Colouring uh, their skin colour. I kind of forgot. <laughs> but I'm glad that um, I got it right. At least I think I did. You know, like, um, with the faces and whatever. As I was drawing it, though, like, you know, side view trying to do side view and it still kind of looks looks weird it still looks weird or I don't know it's still need practice but if you've been watching my videos and as you know by the name of this channel I'm too lazy for that so you can see where I'm just like any pictures I've done if I spent too long on it and if it looks okay even if there's some parts that I you know should fix I'm like I'm done I'm the O N E y'all I'm done so anyways um I am usually on Tumblr 
or YouTube. So feel free to just, I don't know, leave a comment on here or on Tumblr. Um, there are some ideas that I could potentially draw. Yeah, I can do that. I mean, I might not always because I'm too lazy or I don't have uh, the skill needed to draw. But hey, just having any idea that you can give or what I could is still helpful. So, we are nearing the end of the video. Um, as usual, I hope everyone who's watching or listening that you have a good day, a good evening, and a good night. Um, stay hydrated. Uh, you know, make sure and remember to eat something, yeah, While, whilst you're studying or whatever, make sure to drink and eat, so, voila, we're done, bye!